ESPN Cleveland's Tony Rizzo, what he has seen from the Browns offense this year. This offense, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was brought here to do. It didn't help Deshaun Watson. Certainly not helping anyone else right now. Goodbye. Ken, I'm sure you can get a gig somewhere. This isn't a personal attack. Not attacking the man at all. I wish him the very best. I'm talking about decisions for my football team. I have seen enough of Ken Dorsey. Aaron. What is their identity? No what idea. is it that they are trying to do? Penalty. Tim, that's uh, that's an interesting thing. The, their identity is penalties. Uh, turnovers would be another one. Um, again, I I agree. Uh, and I'm a guy that said you need to build an offense around Deshaun Watson. That did not work. You, you need to go back and, and tear it down and try to recreate uh, what you can with Kevin Dor uh, with uh, Kevin Stefanski instead of Ken Dorsey, kind of as the offensive mind. Yeah, I mean, we look back, you know, in the summer, we were talking about the importance of putting the offensive plane around the quarterback. Well, the quarterback obviously didn't play well. And if the system you built around the most important player in your team, if that player is not playing well, naturally the system's not going to work. And now, obviously, you're on another quarterback in Jameis Winston. And just looking at the offense, you look at all the issues they've had. You know, you go from 10th in the NFL in scoring a year ago to 29th in scoring this year just such a gigantic drop off as far as offensive production is concerned and i think if you're the browns if you're going to change this offensive staff what i think should be the one thing you do get an if you decide to move on from ken dorsey you need to get another offensive coordinator who's much more aligned with kevin stefanski's can do some of the same things that stefanski has done the last handful of seasons as a head coach because those things by and large worked you know it's largely quarterback been largely quarterback independent that regardless of who he's at out there, they've been able to move the football, score some points, win some games. I mean, again, you look at what Joe Flacco did at the end of last season. Obviously, I think that that, that was where the eye test did not match the analytic under the underlying analytic numbers that really kind of blew up in the Browns face in the playoffs. But we're seeing kind of Jameis Winston kind of be similar where we're seeing the similar things as far as it looks good, but then you all see the same mistakes and that kind of, rests on the same things as well. But if you're the Browns, I think you really got to figure out how to get back to that offensive philosophy of 2023 and not really frame it around who's going to be starting at quarterback next season.